We're learning the first Sikha on Yutas Kislev in Chelek Chof on page 171. This is a Sikha on Yutas Kislev, but uh, we're learning it in now in time of Sukkis. It's based on a Fabrengen of the Friedrich Rebbe in Sukkis time, and it's also a Sikha that the Rebbe said in Simchas Beis HaSheva, Tavshin Chof Aleph. In a footnote, in the end of the Sikha, we'll see the connection to Sukkis. The share today is being learned Lula Nishmas Rab Yasef bin Yamin bin Rabinasha Kaltman. Kwei Kedushas Mirivikomi Admur Atamal in Asukis de Gesiche gegeben a Moshul Efinian Achsidis. The Fidige Rebbe once in Asukis de Gefabrengen gave the following parable for Chsidis. Vizel Shainai, and this is the words of the Fidige Rebbe. Margolius, Peril, Gefitmen, Ifendek von Yam. Pearls are found in the seabed. Gecholen, coals, was a machen lichtigen warm, they bring light and warmth, gefinden sich beimke adoma, are found in the depths of the earth. The seder in them is, the way this is reached and how you access the pearls or the coals, and here actually the Friedrich Rebbe speaks about the coals, as, as is dav sein, emer an anfire, it has to be one individual, that's the leader, welche weiß dann, wo zu graben, und wie er sagt, zu gefinden die gecholen, that will show exactly where to dig and how to find the coals. Is if the Chachme from the Anfirer can sich the Arbeiter verlassen. On the expertise of this leader, the workers can rely. Nor sie dürfen folgen pinklich, was the Führer sagt. However, they must obey exactly what the leader tells them. Aber von deswegen, however, dem Ruach Chaim, was jeder darf haben, sein dich beimkehr Dome von dem Avim, was ma alle oretz, the spirit of life, or the oxygen, that each one of the miners needs when he's going down into the depths of the earth, getting oxygen from above the earth, of them kann er sich nicht verlassen, auf der Ruach Chaim von dem Anführer, was der Anführer hat. For this, they cannot rely on the oxygen that their leader has. Jeder Arbeiter, each miner, but of allein haben as chabrus ruachayim from the aver was as ma'al ha'doma. He must have himself a connection to oxygen from above the earth. And if he doesn't have that connection, verter achmana l'tzlan anayfel. He will collapse and die. The seist of bleibt on chayis. He remains without any vitality. This is regarding a miner. The Zalbezach, similar, is mit, was, is, is mit dem, was lost sich herab in Fasset zu gefinden Margolius, is when one goes under the sea to find the pearls there. Moser haben a Ruach Chaim from Ma'al Adama. You must have oxygen from above the sea on, on the earth. Und der Rebbe hat dann Eis gefeiert, as the Nimschel kann jeder allein verstehen. Der Friedrich Rebbe then concluded that how this applies to Chsidis, everybody can understand himself. Chsidis mach lichtig und warm. Chsidis brings light and warmth. Kemosh like a cholim, like the parable with the coals. Nor, man darf sich herablosen, bimke adome, if me wares en cholu, one must come down and descend below in the depths of the earth to find and to choose and to, to find the right coals. Nor, as, as man lost sich herab, bimke adome, when you go into the depths of the earth, darf man sein zugebunden zu eben. You must be connected to above. And then you have vitality. Till here is the, the words of the Friedrich Rebbe in the Siche of Simchas Beis HaSheve or Shabbos Cholamay Tzukis of the year Tov Shin Hei. Now it says, move on to It's simple and understood. As Yede Praten the Moshul is Bidiuk um Masim Tzum Nimshul. Every detail of this parable is precise and it's in order to explain the details regarding the Nimshul of Chassidus. If so, you need to understand as follows. Aleph, number one. Why is the parable here that the Friedrich Rebbe gives of two things? The coals in the depths of the earth, and the pearls in the seabed. And it's, why isn't it, won't it suffice with just one of these as a parable? Bays, another question here is, Afop as the Rebbe Tong Gohib Mitten Moshe from Margolius. The Friedrich Rebbe begins and opens with the parable of pearls. Is that with the Ika, Arichas, and Moshe, Vegn Gecholim. The main length that he explains, the minor and the connection and the oxygen, is all regarding the pearl, uh, regarding the uh, coals. 
furthermore, in Nimshul at the Rebbe is getaitched, nor the Ninyan Gecholim. When it comes to explaining how this parable applies to the Nimshul of Chsidis, he only spells out the Nimshul regarding coals. Ovega Margolius, Pachlaun at the month. And there in the Nimshul, it doesn't mention pearls at all. The time of boy. So this requires an explanation. Why does he only spell out the Nimshul regarding coals and not regarding pearls? It would be very difficult to say, as we bowed, the Rebbe hot Messiah given. Since the Friedrich Rebbe concludes and says, as the Nimshul, can Yedrer Alain Fashtain, that the Nimshul, how this applies to Chsidis, everybody could understand on his own. So he's relying on everybody understanding and explaining for himself the details of the mushal of the pearls, how this applies in the Nimshul of Chsidis. So it's difficult to say that this is the reason why the Friedrich Rebbe doesn't spell it out. When it comes to the coals, we see that he does not rely. He does explain all the details. Does not rely on one understanding himself how it applies to Chesidus. The phone is mashma. So from the fact that the Friedrich Rebbe spells out the nimshal for the coals and not for the pearls. So it seems, as the Iker was his Negea to wissen, in Dos was Chesidus is commercial agacholim. The main point that's necessary here is to know that Chesidus is compared to coals. So what, why is that the case? Gimel, the third question here is, Yadrinyin was brengtzich in Teire is betachlis adiyik. Everything that's brought in Teire is exact, precise. That from Zogin, if so, we must say, as the shaykh is from Gecholim to Adama, the relation that there is of coals to the earth, um margolius to yam, and the, the pearls to the sea, is nitnar, but das is the ard, wo sie gefinden sich begashmis. It's not only because physically, that's the place where they are found. Nar, weil es ist da, there's a deeper connection in content, in, in, in between the coals and earth and the pearls and the sea. The question is, what is the relation of the coals to the earth and pearls to the sea? So the Rebbe begins first with explaining what's the difference between creations or human beings included in that, that live on the face of the earth and those creations, the fish and so on, that live inside the sea. The difference between the earth and the sea is explained in many places. And it could be understood by observing the difference between those creations that live on the surface of the earth and those creations, the fish that live inside the water. So regarding all creations on the face of the earth, everything comes from earth. So everything was created from the earth. And, and another detail, All creations get their vitality from eating, from what grows from the earth, as the Pasuk says, from the earth where the bread comes from. But nevertheless, after the, the creation that lives on the, on the surface of the earth is created, we don't see the connection between the created being and the earth, where it comes from and where it gets its vitality from. It's an independent existence that lives on the face of the earth. Which is not the case with the creatures in the water, dogim, the fish. As the Gemara says, that fish immediately, when they separate from the water, they die. They must constantly be found within the source of their life. And therefore it says, as Yam is a marshal of the Elamis, the, the ocean or the sea is a parable for those levels of worlds. The level of worlds where the godly energy that creates them and gives them their vitality and their existence is open and revealed there. And creations on that level in those worlds feel constantly their connection and dependence on the sor- their source of life. And Oibnit, Farlilin and if they don't have that connection to source of life, they lose their entire existence and 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 the, the, their vitality, their existence. 
Those are the higher level of worlds that are living within, so to speak, that godly revelation. And therefore, these are the worlds that are referred to as the concealed worlds. While the Mitzias, the Yashas from the Elamis, is Sugedek. The Stimen refers to the existence of these worlds and the creations in them. Their existence is completely covered and absorbed in the godly energy that's creating them every moment. Mechuse in Zayamakar, covered and absorbed in their source. Al Derech, the dogma should be Yam, like the fish in the water. Mashenkein, Eretz. By contrast, when it comes to the earth, is a marshal of the Elamis. This is a parable for those worlds where creations do not sense and don't experience the godly energy that's creating them every moment. They don't feel their connection to their source of life. Therefore, these are worlds that are referred to as worlds that their entity is expressed. Zermitzias is unplecked. They, their own entity is expressed for itself. They feel in sich als Zach for sich. They sense themselves as an independent existence. And das ist euch den Kudus Abir und die zwei Sachen im Moshe. This is the point of the explanation of the two parables that the Friedrich Rebbe speaks of: Kecholim Shabadama, the coals within the earth, and Margolia Shabiyam, and the pearls that are on the seabed. While the Paola from Chesidus. Bringing a marshal for Chesidus, the Friedrich Rebbe wants to address the effect of Chesidus in Nefesh Adam, the way it affects a person, Teilzech Bechlolus in Tzvei. Generally, it can be divided into two categories. Aleph in Gal Yisheba Adam, Chines Adam the revealed and expressed aspect of the person's existence, which is the level of earth within the person. And Beis in Sosim Sheba Adam, the concealed aspect of the person, Bechinas Yam Sheboi, the sea within the level of the soul of the person, Kidle Kaman, as will be explained there. This is the point of the explanation, the two levels of Chesidus. Now, to understand this clearer and in detail, Bepmdas Vashtein, Behegdim, Fundi Asbaris, Oivdem, Vas Chesidus, is Nisgalagavarim, Bedeiris, Achreinim, Dafke. So let's first explain one of the explanations for the famous question of why is it that Chesidus is something that was revealed only in the later generations in the times of Golos? The Lechayre, seemingly one may ask, is the generation now more deserving as a wonder? That, that, could, we, could we say that now the generation is more fitting and deserving for such a great revelation of Chesidus more than previous generations? So Omehen, so two of the explanations are as follows. Aleph number one, that it's because the darkness of Golos is becoming stronger. So this is precisely the reason why we need a greater level of light to overcome this darkness. And therefore it's in this time when the, the soul of Taita was revealed. And this inspires and in way awakens and reveals the Tifere Bahaltene Kaiches from the Neshame Sassan the Nishmasa. And therefore, this by learning this part of Teire, this reveals and brings out the deeper hidden aspect of the Neshama in order to overcome the darkness that we have to deal with in the in these times of Golas. Bayes, another explanation is why Chsidis was revealed in our times. Azevi Menhalchain by Msofens Mana Golas. Since we are coming to the time of the end of Golas, and we should be preparing ourselves to the upcoming redemption. When you prepare for something, you have to prepare somewhat in connection to, to this that you're preparing for. And therefore, Chesidus gives us somewhat and a taste of that revelation that will be when Mashiach comes, in order to learn and prepare for the full revelation of godliness that will be when Mashiach comes. This is similar to what it says in the writings of the Arizal and Ezvert, that God brought the halacha in Magen Avram, Shulchan Aruch Admar Zakin, Baal Gula Vasimcha. The Magen Avram quotes this. The Alter Rebbe, the Baal Gula Vasimcha of Yutes Kislev, brings in the Shulchan Aruch as well. As Erev Shabbos, that from Fazuchim from the Macholim from Shabbos, that on Friday afternoon one should taste from the foods of Shabbos. Toyamea Chaim Zochov, you taste from the foods of Shabbos, you merit life. So the same thing here, before the time of Mashiach, in the last moments of exile, we are experiencing the revelation, somewhat of the revelation of the Gula Sida, which gives us a taste of that revelation of Lasud Lavei. 
Those are the two explanations for the reason why Chassidus was revealed specifically in the later generations of Golas, starting from the time of the Baal Shem Tev. From the Chilukim, Tzvishim the Asbarises, the Tzve Asbarises, from the differences between these two explanations. Leuten Ashton Tam, based on the first reason, as Chassidus Bavarent from Chayshech HaGolas, that Chassidus takes care of or help gives you the power to overcome the darkness of Golas. Is das verbunden mit the Shebadam. This is related to the revealed aspect of the faculties of a person, the part of the person which is more conscious of, more related to the expressed part of the person. That's the place where the battle of a person and the darkness of exile happens. This is the aspect of the soul of the person that is here to conquer the body and the animalistic soul and the portion in the world that's, that can be dark and disconnected. Through learning Chassidus, this gives a strength from the inner uh, and the, 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 the hidden aspect of the Neshama, gives a strength to the to the revealed part of the Neshama, to overcome the darkness that it has to battle with. Including the double and again redoubled darkness of the later generations of exile. That's this point of Chesidus here, to deal with the place of the battle and the darkness. By contrast, when it comes to the second reason, as Chesidus is that from the Gilead de Lawson, that Chesidus is a taste of the revelation, of the godly revelation when Mashiach comes. Is the Snit an Indian from Bavaran in sich from Chesach? So here the point of Chassidus is not for one to be able to deal with, give him the power to deal with darkness. Over here, on this level, when you're focusing on the preparation for Mashiach, the darkness, that's dealt with and that's taken care of automatically. Not rather, what's the focus here? In order for one to be unified with godliness. And this point goes along with what's known as After Mashiach comes, then our Aved in this world will not be about to refine and purify anything in the aspect or darkness of the world. The spirit of impurity will be removed of this world. After Mashiach comes, then one will go from level to level, all within holiness. So, so too, today, the taste of Chassidus, of what will be when Mashiach comes is giving a person the part of his neshama that gives him the power to just be one and connect to godliness from level to level. This level of chesedis is connected to the hidden part of the neshama as it is for itself. Not the aspect of the deeper part of the neshama that's there related to the conscious part of the person giving him the power to deal with the place where he has a battle but actually within the, the deeper part of the neshama as it is for itself. For is ein zach kaviyachol mitzasem da Kadesh Baruch There, the level of the deeper part of the neshama, which is completely unified in one with the innermost essence of Hashem. Yisrael v'kutshibricho kol achad, where Yidin and Hashem are all one. That's the difference between these two points about the revelation of Chassidus. So being that the first point, that Chassidus is giving a person the power to deal with darkness, is a hechrich gomor in Avedis Sa'adam Lekayne. This is a very basic necessity in one serving Hashem in the time of Golis. Balashen kvek dish is more vichom yad more in the sicha anal, to use again the expression that the Friedrich Rebbe says in the sicha quoted before, nidveren an neufo rachmano letzlan on chayis, not to collapse the minor, not to collapse and be without life. The far verder in yin chsidis, sugeglichen sugecholim, so therefore, this aspect of Chassidus, that it provides light for a place of darkness, for a place that's deep underground, this is like the coals and the miner that then you get out, you bring those coals that provide light and warmth. In Yonim, Achrechiyim, in Levinfun mention, these are bare necessities that you need to live. As will be explained soon more in detail, what the light and warmth that we're referring to as it relates to a person's Avedis Hashem. By contrast, when it comes to the effect of Chesidus, in the innermost part of the Neshama, as it is for itself, not related to empowering a person in his battle with darkness. 
Vert zugeglichen zum Magolius. This is compared to pearls. The far was bismana golos is not das der initial hechlech kol kach. So this is not a necessity as much in the time of exile when you're when you're threatened and you have to deal with darkness. Man azach basmacht the mention shene. Rather, this is just something. Pearls is a piece of jewelry that beautifies the person. Kamashal magolius as it is with pearls. Das ist der Tam, so with this we can understand, for was the Iker, Ariches and the Siche is wegen gecholen. What is the main point that the Fidig Rebbe speaks about at length? It's when he speaks about the coals, and not wegen Margolius, and not about the pearls. Well, that in Yin, in Chesidis, this point about Chesidis, to, to empower a person, to deal with darkness, is Muchrech and Avedis Adam mit Lechol Arash. This is the necessity for a person now, first and foremost. This is the general explanation for the two Mishalim that the Friedrich Rebbe brings and why he focuses primarily on the coals. Now the beer and then the prati is to understand this more in detail, what exactly is the warmth and the light that Chassidus provides for the Aveda of Yidin Golis when he's struggling and battling with darkness. In the Minyan Agacholim, Zok the Rebbe Tzvein Yonim. So again, regarding the coals, the Friedrich Rebbe says two points. Zei machen lichtig und warm. They provide light and warmth. Was the tzad hashave from the two zachen is? What's the common denominator of the two things, light and warmth? Varemkeit the simen of chayis. Warmth is a sign of life, vitality. Un lichtekeit and light zenenit meisiv kenai pratim and azach. Both warmth and light do not add any new details to any entity that exists. Nor they too annoy, but all they accomplish is as the zach gufe. The thing itself that's already here, totally incomplete. It should become warm and with vitality and, and full of light. So you're infusing warmth and light in what exists already here before. This is also the case with Chesidus. Chesidus had not meisiv given chas v'shalem kain nae in yonim in teira. Chesidus did not, God forbid, come to add any new things in teira. In Taira is Nitshayach Kin Shinui Giroyin of the Taisvis. In Taira there can be no change, can't minimize or add anything to what the mitzvahs of the Taira are. Oyach Far Gilu Taira Sachsidis, even before the revelation of Taira Sachsidis is given, the Kiyom, Kola Tayag Mitzvahs Bishlemus. The fulfillment of all 630 mitzvahs was complete. However, what was lacking was, when in Welt is Givarin, Kelter and Finsterer. When the world became a colder place and a darker place, to the point that it's a very intense cold and darkness, that the action of the mitzvah that is being done should be infused with vitality and warmth and light. That's what Chesed has brought. This is the answer of the Shailas Achadim. This is an answer for the question that a few ask. They say that we follow what our ancestors, what our grandfathers did. And he argues that his grandfather, or maybe great great grandfather, before the revelation of the Vashem Tev and Chsidis, is on limit Chsidis. He was able to be just fine in being a, a, a from Yid to be Mekayim Teira Mitzvis without learning Chsidis. So the answer to this is simple. Er alein veisober, but the, what, this person himself that argues this knows as by Zayn Zayden is given varmer on lichtiker or shalei berach. And in his Yiddishkeit, he, he was in a place, in a world, living in a world and in his own life, much warmer, much much more light and incomparably to what the condition is today. On Azai, in sein ganzen dot, and it's his entire generation was on such a level. As quoted before, the Gemara says that in later generations, we can wonder and say, is our generation as deserving as previous generations? So how can we compare ourselves and say that if my grandfather before the Baal Shem Tev didn't need the warmth and light of Chesidus, we don't need it today. It's a different world we live in today. This would be similar if one would make the argument and he would try to prove and, and make the following decision. If in the summer months, in the, the height of the summer, in the month of Tammuz, he doesn't have to heat up the fireplace, and he doesn't need the doors or the windows to be closed to, out to the street. So then he should have the same all time of the year, including in the middle of the winter, in the month of Tavis. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense. 
Durch them was he is megala, the pnimius on the shama for Nayidin. Chsidis, all it does is it reveals the soul of a Jew. Hat sie hereingetragen, chayis, und eur in alle in yonitayra mitzvis. It infused life, vitality, and light in all matters of mitzvis that a yid fulfills. And das is from the hype that gushes from Teres Achsides. This is one of the main things that Achsides highlights and emphasizes as a Vedas Hashem Mosai mit Chayes Vesimcha, that one must serve Hashem with vitality and joy. And on the other hand, had Goshas Asakone von Heder Vaafilu Chalishes Achayes, also emphasizing what danger there can be when one serves Hashem but not with the proper vitality. The Sakana from Kriyas Chas V'Shalom and the danger of serving Hashem just with a attitude of coldness. But the Simen from Hepe Chachai from Chaim Rachmanu Litzan. One of the signs of the, the, the body has no life is when the body is cold. This is the concept of life to infuse life and joy in a person's Aveda. And now the Rebbe adds and can explain is also the union of Eir of the Lichtekeit, the light. The Chayis and Aveda Hashem, the life and vitality that one has in serving Hashem, cannot be sein abgemosten. It may be measured. Leutem teva adam, according to the nature of the person. Al derech yedab achay vas hot achayis, similar to every creation, even an animal that also has life. Vadarab, on the contrary, the Chayis and kama v'kama bali chayim is mitmer chamimis for mina madaber. The vitality of the animal could even be with greater warmth and strength even than the human being. Aber, the chayis from Abal Chai is loit zayn teva. The vitality of the animal is all according to, measured according to its nature. I cannot turn on the zayn teva. He can't behave and have life to do something that's out of his nature. The roiv to fanayidin, however, here's what's greater about the existence of a yid. Is nit no vaser is vadim on oich vadim to atzveit niyidin. Not only does he have warmth. And he has warmth in relation to another Jew. Nor varasarat bekoyach tzamachten lichtig by sich. A yid has the power to bring light by himself. What is light? Light is much greater than just life. Tzazen be'en sichloi. One can see with his mind's eye. Hachacham enov bereishai that the wise man has his eyes in his head, which means ba'hu de sharia al reisha with the shchiner that dwells upon the head of every single yid. Neit vi'im on arom zich vilzich. Not based on what he or the environment around him desires, nor via his darf sign, but a light that shines from above as it should be. And therefore, with that light of the Shechina that's upon a person, he should be ready to do even out of his nature and even against one's nature. With the Gemara Zak, as the Gemara tells us, as can sein ene was sein opgehit and alle ramach mitzasase yeshusam mitzasloisase. One can be very careful and fulfill all mitzvahs mitzasase and loisase. On tutzem mitchayes, and it's done even as mentioned before with life and vitality. On from desvegin verterongeru from loyavode. Nevertheless, he's referred to as one that's not serving Hashem. Why? The father said, Tutnit, hey, because he doesn't go that extra step to even be ready to do it outside and even against his nature. In order that one should be on the level where he's fulfilling Hashem's will fully and properly, that's only in the first parasha of Shema, where it's not only but it also adds then you're really fulfilling Hashem's will. To do and fulfill mitzvahs greater and higher than the nature of the person. And that's the concept of light. When it shines from above, a light that's more than the measured and limited life that the person has contained in himself. So these two points of the warmth and light are two things that are necessary in the Aveda and the deeper inner Aveda of a person in his fulfilling of Torah mitzvahs, meaning not just the action, but it's infused with the life and light of Chesivis. The Rebbe, we quote Bishop's Mother Vichami had more zakt in the Sikhah. So, therefore, as the Friedrich Rebbe says in the Sikhah, there is an Einer, an Unfeeder, there must be one leader, that shows the Seder Aveda, the order of how this Aveda, which should be done by Ethan Pnimi, in a deep and, and thorough and organized manner. And therefore, you have to have a leader for this. And who is this? These are our Rabbeim from the Balshem Tev until the Rebbe in all generations. Was given a raise the seder aveda that give us the order and how we serve Hashem tzamen mitanesinus kayach and they also empower us 
to do the Aveda, the Mazozer de Varemen, Omachten Lichtig, Bazir, Honor Umzir, how one can bring warmth to himself and light to himself and to the environment around him. On the Chachme, from their own fire, and on the expertise of this leader, Kanazir the Arbiter Falozen, the workers could rely on this. Norzidah from Folgen Pinklech was the fear of However, they must obey exactly what the leader, the Rabbi and the Rebbe tells us. That's the point of the marshal of the coals that has the two details of the warmth and the light in the Aveda of the hidden this world when he has to contend with the darkness and the battle in the time of Golis. And here, this is the, the warmth and light that Chassidus gives us in the coals of Chassidus to, to deal with this. Of the Rov is the Rebbe Moisif, Nach an Indian in the Sikha. Now, on this, the Friedrich Rebbe adds another detail here in the Sikha regarding the nature of a Yitzhak in this world. And he says as follows However, the spirit of life that each one of the miners has to have, in other words, the oxygen that he needs when he goes below the earth, for this they can't rely on the oxygen that the leader has. Every miner himself is going to have to have his own source of his oxygen. Now, what does this mean as it relates to the nimshal in the Aveda of a Yid in this world? And the point here is, one may think, since we are relying on the expertise of the leader, and he must be listened to exactly, is Genok, so for this, if so, it's enough, the Mesiras Haratzen Alein. When someone just completely gives himself over, dedicates himself to the Rebbe, to the leader, to follow all of his orders. As one once argued and said, I should write for him, the Rebbe says, that, or we, it should be written for him, every detail, what he has to do from Aleph to Tav, what he has to get done, and he'll obey, he'll, he'll follow exactly what he's told to do because he's ready to give over his will completely for the Rebbe. But to him to toil and to think on, on his own what it is exactly he has to do and how to live as a Yid and as a Chassid, that he's not ready to do himself. But this approach, though, is incorrect. For this we say, together with this point of one giving himself over, totally dedicating his will for the leader, for the rabbit to do what has to be done, there must be the full person with all of the faculties of the person. With the intellect, chagas, midis, the emotions, unihi, asiyah, the lower aspect of the emotions that are related to the action that a person does. All of it has to be included and involved in serving Hashem. The entire person with all of the faculties he has has to be harnessed, has to be guided and all connected to the will of the one that sent him, the Rebbe that is, is guiding him and the leader. So folgen pinklech was the fear zakt, to obey exactly what the leader says. And this is what the Rebbe zakt in the Sikhe, this is the point that the Friedrich Rebbe is saying. As benigeya de ruach chayim, was yedre, darf hoben, that regarding the spirit of life that each person has to have for himself, you cannot rely on the spirit of life that the leader has. Now this is the, this is the approach of Chassidus Chabad, unlike the opinion that said that based on the Pasuk, Tzadik be'amunasa yichya, that a Tzadik lives with his faith, and you can read the Pasuk, al yichya, don't only read that the Tzadik himself lives with his faith, ela yichaya that he provides life for others. The leader, the Rebbe, he will provide through his faith, life for others as well. As mefalosich, as in tzaddik, as er, vet mechayesayin. That you rely on the tzaddik, that he will provide vitality for everyone else. So not like that approach, nor rather, nor yedere, but af alein hoven as chabres from ruach hayim. Everybody needs to have his connection to the spirit of life. In Pashat Averte, in very simple words, what this means. One must have times set on a daily basis to learn Chassidus. And not learning superficially. To toil in order to really understand 
what you're learning in Chassidus, that you should feel it, that you are toiling and understanding what, you, what you're learning in Chassidus. And this actually must be literally on a daily basis. One cannot rely on the fact that he's overflowed and filled with so much knowledge of Chassidus, and his knowledge, he knows so many maimarim and he knows them by heart. Just yesterday, he toiled and learned a maimer. Rather, one must have that connection to the oxygen, to the spirit of life, every day from new. While in Chayim, is Nitzayach can have sick, because in life, there's no interruption. You can't be alive one day and then take a break and then be alive again. As it is literally in life. And one will argue and say, He wants to be alive on Sunday and then skip Monday and then he'll be alive again on Tuesday. Not sufficient. Insufficient. Montig. In between on Monday, He wants to take a break from life. If he's not alive on Monday, then there's no life on Tuesday either. The main point that one should remember is What's meant here is, in actuality, and you, every person specifically, literally. And not the person who he was yesterday, but today in the morning, that he got up with a new, fresh neshama in the morning. He has to again renew his connection to the spirit of life. In by setting a time to learn chassidus with a new cheshek. Uh, the word cheshek in English is a, a new joy. Like someone that never learned before Chassidus in his life. That's how new and fresh and geschmack the Chassidus should be on a daily basis. And it's with this that on a daily basis and in the entire day a person will have the warmth and the light that he needs from Chassidus as, as it should be. So this is the conclusion of the explanation of the calls. Das alts is the Indian hagecholim shep chesidus. This is the explanation for what the concept of the calls of chesidus is. Was is verbunden mit bechines adame gal yishebodem. All related to the aspect of earth, the revealed aspect, the expressed aspect of who a person is as he functions with his life in this world on a daily basis, with the battles that he has, with the darkness of the world. The coals are found in the depths of the earth. That refers to the fact that this is very deep inside the person. But nevertheless, in the mashal, it's in the earth, meaning that it relates to that part of earthliness of the person. On the far, so therefore, is the Aveda, this level of Aveda described up until this point, Nit Shailulagamri, it does not completely negate as their Adam Ha'ivid, Zalzachafa Pikain, Filin al Samitsius Vazich. That the one that's serving, so he is one that's providing and serving, should not at all feel his entity and being a person. At his take oivid Hashem, Mitachai is Godl. Yes, he's serving Hashem, and he's serving Hashem with a great excitement. And as explained before, not only life, but also light, which brings a person to go even against his nature. is more than his limitations. After all of this, though, he senses himself and he is an entity that expresses love for Hashem. It's his entity that's expressed. It's he that is excited about serving Hashem. This excitement that's without any bounds. But still, it's a kind of Aved that relates to the life of the person and the struggles of the person with all of the excitement that goes into this. And therefore, by definition, this is very much all about, or not about, but it's, it's you sense the being and the existence, the yesh of the person. No, however, following this is a higher level. Is a bedod a hechera in yonechsidus. 
is a higher level of what Chassidus is. So Eiftan, der Inyan von Eskasia. To accomplish the deeper, the concealed aspect of Chassidus, as a Yid soll sich in ganzen zu so sein in ganzen zugedeckt und herangetan bis über den Kopf im Makkach Yusei. That one should be totally covered and immersed over his head completely in the source of his life through Chassidus, in Alakos, in godliness. Bis wannend, as er is nicht, can Metzies versich, to the point that he doesn't at all sense himself. He just senses the godliness that he's immersed in and involved in. And this is accomplished also through learning Chesidus, Pnimi Yisat Teireh, the Mayonish of Teireh, the wellspring of Teireh, Vuolakos Gitzacharais, Boif and Goli, where godliness is expressed purely and directly, not the level of Chesidus and godliness as it relates to the place of darkness and battles, but a pure revelation of godliness. As explained in many places, as a nigla the Teireh can sign, even when you learn the revealed aspect of Teireh, that could be, the Gemara zagt, loy barchu bat that one learns, and he does not make the birchas at Teireh, before he learns, birchas neisna Teireh, chach sizda chavivis at Teireh, even if he has a love for his learning, but nevertheless he forgets who is the one that gives the Teireh, man forgets the birchas neisna Teireh, chas v'shalom, one forgets the giver of the Teireh, God forbid, asha enke, in pnimi is a Teireh, by contrast, when one learns the inner part of Teireh, when one learns Chassidus that discusses all about godliness, there one senses that he gets elevated and absorbed into this life and existence and reality of the truth of, of godliness that's here, that he's discussing and learning. Now, Chach, However, it, it has to be said that free choice is not taken away from one. It is even possible when one learns Chassidus to in, in, instigate the Yetzirah that's not there naturally, but one can bring the Yetzirah and learn in Pnimiyas Atayir and an Eifim Bilti Rotsi and learn even Chassidus in, in not an appropriate manner where he's learning it, but it's all a, a, about himself and a pursuit of his own personal understanding and not being absorbed in the truth and in the godliness that there is in Chassidus. On Dorech then, was Melan Chassidus B'Shufi. When one learns a lot of Chassidus, he learns endless, he learns, immerses himself into learning Chassidus. Vet men zugedeckt in ganzen und hereingetan in Gatlachai. Then you become covered and absorbed completely with godliness. Me'en, wie es wird sein, los ad lovei, Similar to the way it will be when Mashiach comes, when Malo Ha'orez Deyes Hashem Kamayim Liyam Achasim, when the whole world will be filled with the knowledge of Hashem, like the water that covers the seabed. So this is the higher level of learning Chassidus, where a person is not dealing with darkness, he's not dealing with battles, but he gets elevated and absorbed in the light and in the godliness of Chassidus to the point that it's just covered and involved in godliness. Since we're not talking over here about something that relates to action, you find similar, and as an example for this, also when you learn the revealed part of Taita, when one learns Taita and the point of his learning is just to expound and add to the greatness of Taita. And when one learns a sugya, a subject in Taita where there's no relevance in action, the limud is not droish bekabel schar to expound and learn deeper Taita and to receive reward just for that itself. The far therefore vet sugiglichin sumagolius. It's this level of learning chsidis that is compared to pearls. Pearls are not something that is a bare necessity. A mensch can up leaven a leaven on Margolius. A person can live his life in the world without ever having pearls as a jewelry. So therefore, this is the marshal of the pearls that the Friedrich Rebbe speaks about. The higher aspect of Chassidus, when one gets immersed and elevated in Chassidus, totally removed of the reality of the world. Now, the point though is that this is not a necessity and therefore this is compared to pearls. However, Bamed Vodamam Muramaz Mekena is coming on Margolius. When is this true? Then one could say that I could live life without having this aspect of chsidis that is compared to pearls. Is the snar the mevleip in the egg in the dal damas? That's only when one is living and remains within his own four amas. However, when one needs to go and stand in front of the king, and not only as the king is when he comes out to the field, nor as 
No, rather to go and stand in front of the king in his chamber. Cheder lufnim cheder, a chamber within a chamber, to go and be in the palace, in the place where the king is. Demolt is nidgenuk as mizal hobm al levushim b'shleimus. Then it's not enough that a person is dressed properly. A fellow levushim from an usher, even being dressed as a nobleman, dressed with beautiful, nice clothing. Nor me muzhobm oich tachshitum emagolius to come and greet the king. One must be properly dressed, including also with jewelry. On a zeloche was then a tzuge past for einim was davzach shtel lufnei amelech, and has to be. Proper and rich jewelry for one that has to come and stand in front of the king. And if he does not have that jewelry, when he comes into the palace and to the king, so because he's coming to stand in front of the king, it's not just a detail that's missing. This is something that can be affecting the amount of proper honor that he has to be giving to the king. So in this case, by lacking the pearls and by lacking that jewelry, he's missing something which is now becomes a necessity when you come to stand in front of the king. is the nimshal. Therefore, the same way we can understand the nimshal regarding chesidus. Thus, was limited chesidus also in farzich. The higher point that we explained about learning Chassidus as a thing for itself, when you get elevated into the learning of Chassidus and absorbed in, in being involved in Chassidus over your head, as explained before, to leave their inyam from da as a lekeya vicho, when one learns to know Hashem your Father. Isn't it This wasn't something as such a great necessity in previous generations. Before the very last preparations for the coming of Mashiach begins. And therefore there wasn't such a necessity for this level of learning chsidis like the jewelry, like pearls. However, later and now in our generation, when we are right on the other side of the wall before Mashiach comes, so Mashiach is on the other side of the wall and he's about to reveal himself. Ot ot kum Mashiach. Mashiach is about to arrive. Was bibiyasai, when he arrives, is Kate's son, Lachoshech, an end will be put to all darkness. And then begins the ultimate and, and total redemption. And the point of the ultimate redemption of Mashiach is, as explained in many places, the marriage between Yidin and Hashem. It'll be revealed how Yidin are one, literally, with Hashem. As it says in the marriage, that the two, the man, husband and wife, become like one flesh. Yisrael o Malke Bolochadai. The Yidden and the King, the Abishter, as one. Dafn Zikh Dach Greiten, Baifen Amasim Ditsu. So since now we're at this time period when this is about to happen and Mashiach is about to come, so now the learning of Chsid is on this level of Margolius, we have to prepare for this. Mandaf Hobin, the Margolius, we must have the pearls of Chsidis, with Velachem and Gate, to the Chope, with which we go to the Chope, mit Melech, Malche, Amlacham, Akadish Baruch, with the King of all Kings, Hashem Himself. Now it's a time that one must learn chassidus, not only in order to empower a person to deal with darkness, but to learn chassidus, to be completely involved in learning chassidus, a lot of chassidus, where you get elevated out of the reality of this world. This is the answer to those that argue. Yeah, it's true that chassidus is a very good thing, and so on. Adarab, on the contrary, this is an inyan v'zvet suge gulchin to margolius. This is something that's compared to pearls. Ober er yoktzich nitnok margolius. However, one person says, "I'm not chasing pearls." Im is genuk as ein olavushin. For him, it's enough that his garments, which spiritually means machshave dibur amaisa shal tayag mitzvah atayre, his thought, speech, and action in fulfilling the mitzvahs of the tayres and the mishlemis are complete. On and hot tachshitim oich, and he also has certain jewelry to come along with that. Of a Margolius, but such expensive jewelry like pearls that you have to get from the seabed, felt him the dice. That he's not chasing after. This is what one may argue. And applying that to that one may say that this level of learning of chassidus is not something that uh, I'm, I'm after. Therefore, one must know. As Noyitziv to them, in addition to the fact, was this is a din in Shulchan Aruch. This is a halach in Shulchan Aruch, which is a chiv to learn in Pnimi Yisateire v'ala chalki Yisateire. It's an obligation to learn the inner part of Teire, like all other portions in Teire. 
It's a halach and shulchan aruch. That's number one. On Nachma, furthermore, because of the darkness of the end of the time before the darkness of the end of the time before Mashiach comes, Muslim haben the limit of chsedes kedeas the levushim zon zayin gans. One must learn chsedes even for his garments. Thought, speech, and action should remain pure and not be affected by the darkness of the gallus. Canal, as I already mentioned before. But over here, though, there's another point. Is there say there for nit yog zich noch mar gallus? This approach, this attitude that one is not chasing after pearls. There's place for this in earlier generations. It's over now in our times. When Mashiach is standing right behind the wall, darf man sich greiten, sein Greit gehen zu der Chuppe mit Melech, Malchi, am Nochem HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Every year there's to prepare himself to be ready to go and to the Chuppe together with the Ebeshter himself. Is was heißt, er jagt sich nicht noch mal Goliath. If that's the time period we're living in, how could one argue and say that he doesn't need any pearls? Imagine a Kala that's about to come to her chuppah and she says, oh, I don't need any jewelry. In Zoya state, in the Zoya it says, as Bismana Golos and Yidin via Kala was gefinzich and shuk the Borsaki, that in the time of exile, Yidin are compared to a Kala that's found in a marketplace where there's dirty work done. Was mitzad der Gereisa Avet, so Kala, because of the intense love that there is to the Kala, is the Chosm, the Reibishter. So the Chosm, which is the Reibishter, Mevater of the Reich, Rasha Shuka the Bursiki, he looks away from the bad odor that there is in this dirty marketplace, which is Hagolus, the God the exile. Unge dort vu the Kala, Eden Gizen. And he goes there in the place where the Kala, which refers to Eden, where they are. That's Golus. That's all good for a time where we're focusing on dealing with the darkness of exile. It is gekommen in the Zeit, when es darf sein, da loi golos. Ois golos. Now we come to a time period right before Mashiach comes where we have to focus on ending golos. Noch seinige Mitzrayim, even while, as it says, when Yidin were still in Mitzrayim, is lechol b'nei Yisrael hoya er b'meshweisam. For all Yidin, and it highlights all, there was light even in their dwellings in golos. Which means I'm great to the Gula Mitzvah Shleima to begin to live with redemption, to live with the pearls and the of Chesedus, to be prepared for the redemption. Is was heist as me great zich to the Chuppe mit Levushim v'alechazene genug when the gast is ashuka de Borsaki. How could then one prepare for this Chuppe for this revelation of Mashiach with garments that are that would be enough in the streets of the marketplace of a Borsaki which is all dirty and 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 uh, smelly with a bad odor. And when one uh, uh, will prepare properly for the chuppe with Hashem, with a ribui from Ragolius, with a lot of uh, pearls, and faflates develop with limud achsidis kamayim layam achasim, when we will flood the entire world with the learning of achsidis, like the water that covers the seabed, is those gufe mezares on the mayer. This itself will hasten and bring closer as mezal pravin the poil. That we should actually celebrate the Simcha Gedeila, the great joy from the Nisuin, Swishin Yidin mit Nebishin, of the, the marriage between Yidin and the Ebishter. And here in the footnote, the Rebbe adds the connection to Sukkis, uh, because a Sukkah is compared to a Chuppah. That's uh, the Sukkah as well, surrounds the person like a Chuppah. And therefore, this is one of the reasons for the joy that there is during the Yantub of Sukkis, as the Rebbe quotes from Lukatatayra, the seven days of Sukkis corresponding to the seven days of the Yemea Mishta of Shavah we will see with our eyes, our flesh, our eye, the eyes of flesh, and here below in this world, the Yisrael, the Kutshiberichu, Kulachad, Yidin and Hashem are completely one. Yisrael, Umalke, Bolochudai, Yidin and Hashem alone, Ubemeheira, Vyameinu, Mamesh, speedily in our days.